All right, on this tutorial, we're gonna go over flaring. Um, so you've probably seen it in a couple of the other tutorials, but essentially what flaring is, is you're using the body of the airframe to essentially create drag against your forward uh, momentum and speed to essentially slow you down. So I'm just gonna use the backdrop of the aircraft carry here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna press S and bring up the nose of the body. And you'll see I start going from 80 knots and it starts going down to 40, 30, 20, 10, and it can even go into negative, which is going backwards. Um, that's what a flare is. You're essentially going forward, pulling up your body, creating resistance, and decreasing your speed. Now, you will notice that each time I do that, I increase elevation. Now, if I don't care about elevation, then whatever, go ahead and flare but the more significant of a flare that you do, um, the more altitude you're gonna gain. Uh, so if I wanna say, let's uh, say, dip my flare, but keep speed kinda of a slower descension over time, I could definitely do that. I can flare just a little bit like I am now, where it's decreasing speed, but I'm still kinda, I'm still got some forward momentum, it's not crazy. And I can usually time that for landings. Um, or like we did before, significant flare, Ditch back, and then forward. Um, now you see I didn't gather too much elevation on that one because I was already moving in a slow pace. But let's say I'm going at a full pace here, I already have a little bit of elevation, and I'm gonna do a, uh, a high angle flare um, without doing it over time. What I can do to counteract that elevation gain is I can hold Z, and that will help to um, not go as high. Now you can also do that as well for uh, flaring over extended period of time where you're not going high you're still staying low but decreasing speed but we're going to do a high angle uh, in place and then decrease uh, elevation. Um, here I'm holding Z. Um, T I'm already going up all the way to 300. Um, and I was able to cut that speed and bring it back down to about 280. Now you will still gain um, elevation to some degree but it won't go all the way up to where it was like closer to 400. Now let's say I want to flare over uh, an extended space here, but also keep the elevation going down uh, at the same time so I have a nice smooth glide uh, path. We're going to go ahead and do that. So I'm holding Z. You can see that the altitude is going down, and I'm adjusting my flare as that altitude is going. So you see we kept a relatively um, consistent altitude throughout the entire flare. We timed it to where it wasn't going too high or too low. I'm now in a hover. So if we're doing landings, moving into a hover, something like that, you can kind of mess around with the flare, get your timing right, um, and get a nice smooth um, angle that doesn't look messy, feels control, you have control over it. And that pretty much concludes this tutorial on how to flare.